Uh, hello everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the IT Police Sensor Committee members for their uh, endless work to organize the conference under this pandemic condition. I am Ashiko Rahman and belong to the School of the Mechatronics Engineering, Korea University of Technology and Education in Republic of Korea. Here I will be presenting an application that is the AI speaker of a bio inspired MEMS directional microphone using its sub web lamp directional sensing. In the content, I have a background and motivation followed by what we can contribute using a bio inspired MEMS directional microphone. Then I will talk uh, about the structure of the proposed AI speaker. And then finally, I will uh, show the demonstration followed by the experimental setup and experimental results. So the AI speaker, which is known as a virtual assistant, uh, was first introduced by Amazon in uh, 2015. Uh, recently, Microsoft, uh, they uh, launched their own uh, AI speaker, uh, Microsoft Inno Invoke, in 2018. The use of AI speaker is getting popular day by day, as uh, forecasted by Forrester, and the uh, unit of use is will be uh, is stood at uh, 66.3 million by 2022. So the basic block diagram of and why uh, AI speaker can be uh, found over here, uh, which includes all uh, the stages uh, what a virtual assistant should have. In this work, we uh, mark the area of interest. So the commercially available AI speaker uses condenser microphones, which needs external power supply. And the main drawback is the directional sensing accuracy is very low, especially when the uh, when multiple uh, sources are presented. To overcome this, we uh, proposed an array of three uh, bio instructional microphone. Shortly, we'll see how this kind of microphone works. So in the uh, conventional directional microphone, it includes two identical omnidirectional microphone by an interdistance D. The microphone close to the sound source gives high intensity than that of the other uh, uh, microphone. Based on this uh, intensity difference, the sound, incoming sound can be detected and localized. However, the fundamental limitations of this conventional directional microphone is the noise varies with this interdistance D and they are bulky in size, therefore they are cosmetically challenged. On the other hand, fly or myocracy in spread uh, directional microphone includes two uh, diaphragms. Uh, which are coupled from the middle inspired by uh, the fly uh, or myocratious um, hearing system. This strength of microphone gives a uh, low noise, better directionality at a reduced size. The detail on this uh, trend of microphone and fly or myocratia can be found in our recent work. The basic structure of our proposed AI speaker includes uh, sound uh, or music as input to uh, sense the sound or music. We have the microphone array, and after that microphone array, we have in-house design pre-amplifier that is found uh, in amplifier, and then we have signal processing that is analog logic to select the maximum signal, and followed by this maximum signal, we have uh, audio amplifier to reconstruct the uh, maximum signal and one speaker to hear the reconstructed signal. So the real view of the device is shown below. Here includes one power supply and analog logic, pre-amplifier circuit and e speaker. So in the experimental setup, we used two uh, sound sources, source A and source B, uh, which were uh, positioned in different angles and uh, their intensity was measured by uh, one reference microphone. In between these two sound sources, we placed our developed array. The air, uh, in, in the array, the microphone on top 
uh, is uh, near to zero degree is denoted as mic A and the microphone close to 120 degree is uh, mic B and microphone at 240 degree is mic C. All the diaphragms are denoted V1 to V6 followed by these three directional microphone. The same same signal from uh, all six diaphragms are connected with uh, in-house design font in the amplifier and then connected with one uh, analog logic to uh, control the maximum signal followed by the intensity of the incoming sound and frequency and the angle of propagation of the incoming sound. And after this uh, max selector, we used one audio amplifier to re reconstruct the max signal. And then uh, we add one speaker to hear the reconstructed signal. In the experimental measurements, our first aim was to check whether uh, the developed directional microphone can provide the uh, amplitude difference or not to do that. Uh, we uh, placed one speaker using um, you know, one kilohertz frequency and one Pascal sound pressure close to diaphragm V1. So here we can see the diaphragm V1 gives higher response than the diaphragm V2. Based on this uh, intensity difference, we measured the directionality uh, from zero uh, in zero to 360 degree directional sensing and found very close close mass with an ideal pressure gradient sensor. Based on this uh, amplitude difference and directionality, we uh, measured the whole array using two sound sources with different frequencies. So um, uh, the sound source at zero degree was with uh, one kilohertz frequency and 240 degree was with a 10 kilohertz frequency. Due to higher frequency, the, this microphone C gives higher response due to higher mechanical vibrations. Since we are using piezoelectric sensing, the higher mechanical vibration can give higher compression and expansion. And in turn, we can get higher amplitude in direct piezoelectricity. So in the demonstration, we use two songs, uh, song one, uh, uh, two music, music one and music two, which were controlled by two computers. And here is the uh, developed uh, device. Uh, the speaker, the part of the developed device was placed a little far to hear um, the reconstructed uh, signal properly. So before applying uh, the music, we used to uh, uh, rotation uh, in initial position. The music one was out of the array, whereas music two was uh, with 45 degree with this microphone A and microphone B. So according to uh, the directionality, this, uh, uh, in this rotation, we can uh, hear only the music two. And after a uh, rotation, the music one was placed in normal axis with the microphone C. So again, uh, based on the directionality, since this diaphragm gives high response, we can hear only the music one. So let's watch the input. So after the input, this was the output from our microphone setup. So what happened is when uh, uh, the music two 
was at 45 degree with these two microphones then we'll uh, hear only the music two and then when a uh, music one was uh, tuned to zero degree with this microphone then we'll uh, hear only the uh, music one so our primary goal was to check uh, either uh, the array we developed uh, is usable for a smart or AI speaker or not. The initial experimental results and demonstration verify the aim of this study. However, we used only one sensing signal out of six set, uh, sensing signals. So in future, uh, there is a scope to uh, expand the logic to handle multiple signals at a time. The lab I belong to is a smart microsystem and advanced materials lab directed by Professor Myungi Kim. We are dealing with MEMS and name sensor, smart composites and uh, materials and laser metrology and supported by National Research Foundation of Korea and Advanced uh, Technology Research Center Korea, Korea Tech. For more updates, please visit this uh, lab website or you can send uh, email directly to the lab uh, director. Thank you so much.